I just wanted to put a quick disclaimer before the video starts and that is that I am not a medical professional and this is not what you should do or believe or feel. This is just coming from my personal experience and I'm sure that a lot of people might be able to relate to this as well. But yeah, just thought I would put that there quick. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, then my name is Demi and I am currently recovering from anorexia. If you're not, then welcome back. I hope you're all doing okay. In this video, I'm gonna share seven things that I've learned in seven months of recovery but it has to be in seven minutes so what i'm gonna do each thing that i've learned i'm gonna have one minute to talk about so the seven things i've learned i've got seven minutes to talk about if that makes sense so with that being said i'm gonna use a stopwatch on my phone to count down the time let's start three two one Okay, so the first thing that I've learned is that nothing changes if nothing changes. Like genuinely, hand on heart, I mean this. If you don't actually start making changes, then nothing is going to change. And I know that really sounds like as if I'm trying to teach you to suck eggs or something because it's obvious that if you don't change, then nothing changes. But genuinely, when you're stuck in recovery and in that mindset of thinking about recovery but not actually changing anything, you can find yourself stuck in that process for a very long time and you have to literally break out of that cycle because if you don't then you will literally pass by so much time and the only thing you're losing is youth and valuable time of your life and I don't want you to do that because I have done that myself and yeah it's scary making the changes but it is possible so I just want to urge you to make the changes and yeah that's that's pretty much it. I've reset the timer, <sighs> ready for the next one. Okay, so number two is, um... <laughs> I've completely forgot, I've completely forgot. I'm gonna have to restart that, three, two, one. Okay, so the next one is that there will never be a right time. And I know that for a lot of people, this is such a big thing that Pretty much everybody who's going through recovery will go through this at some point. So it's that whole, oh, when it gets to this date, I'll start recovery or I'll wait until next week and then I'll try that piece of cake that I've been wanting or I'll wait until after my brother's birthday and then I'll start recovery or I'll wait until my birthday and then I'll do it. Honestly, please don't waste time because there's never a right time, whether you do it now, whether you do it tomorrow, whether you do it next week, it's gonna happen and it has to happen. So honestly, please just keep that in mind that there will never be a right time. You have to start doing it now and you will literally thank yourself for it. I've reset the clock again and three, two, one. So the next one is that you literally have to take action. And I know that sounds really stupid because obviously we have to do things, we have to take action, but it's so easy to think yourself into that action and think, oh yeah, I've done that and that's it now. No, 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 no. You know, you have to keep doing it like over and over and over and over again. Yeah, it can be a mental battle and it's so easy to kind of think that you're in recovery and think that you're doing the right thing. and them thoughts are nothing unless you're actually taking that action like physically doing it and it's just so important to put them actions into place in real life in in your recovery i'm going to stop this one here the clock has been reset once again and the next one is comparison will literally get you nowhere and i know it is literally so hard and it's like, how do you stop doing it when it's such an automatic response from your brain? But honestly, whether it be comparing yourself to people on social media, whether it be comparing how much food you've eaten to, say, somebody in your family or your friend, whether it be comparing literally anything, it's just not going to help and it's not going to get you anywhere. And it's something that I've learned and I've realised that it doesn't help and it doesn't get me anywhere. And what you have to remember is that if you're comparing what you're eating to somebody else, it literally doesn't matter. Like, when you stop and rationalise these thoughts, like, it genuinely doesn't matter what that person has eaten and what I have eaten. It's just so important to try and not do that because it's going to hold you back so much. I don't want it to hold you back. Okay, 
we've had one minute now. The timer has been reset. Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. Okay, the next one is very close to my heart and you might struggle with this as well. And that is that exercise is not gonna disappear. It's literally not gonna disappear. And I know that in your mind, it's like, oh my God, like it's gonna disappear. If I have to stop, that's it. It's gonna disappear, it's gonna vanish. I'm never gonna be able to do it again. It's like the world is ending. It's like somebody's ripped your heart out of your soul. It's like the world is literally gonna end, but it's not. I'm here to tell you it is literally not and it is completely okay and it's completely crucial and acceptable to take breaks when you're in recovery because like I said, the exercise is not gonna disappear and take care of your body. It's so many factors involved in your health with exercise and I could literally talk about this one for a very long time but I've only got like four seconds left but honestly, give your body the rest because it deserves it and it will thank you. Okay, I've gone over. I've reset the timer again and three, two, one. The next one is the world doesn't end when you gain weight. Genuinely, it doesn't end, okay? I know it is the worst thing ever. It is the worst feeling and you're gonna feel worse when you start gaining weight but you have to remind yourself that that is short term. Your body is just adjusting. You're gonna feel bloated, you're gonna feel heavy, you're gonna feel fluffy. You're gonna feel like a foreigner in your own skin, which nobody wants to feel. But I promise you, the world does not end and it's gonna literally bring so much happiness in the long run. And think of it as short term pain for long term gain, like genuinely, and I mean that. I think that was a bit short of a minute actually. Final one, this is the seventh one now. I don't know why I'm doing that because that's not really helpful. Three, two, one. Okay, the last one is that life is literally not waiting and time is not slowing down. This one really does hit home and it's quite hard. Yes, it sounds very harsh and it's not to make you feel scared or anything like that, but genuinely life is not waiting and each time you kind of give in to them thoughts and think, oh, I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to lose control and blah, blah 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 that's just taking more of your time and youth from you and you will never get this time back and it's so precious and it is so scary when you think and reflect about this but genuinely you have everything to gain and nothing to lose like this illness is just a thief of happiness it's a thief of joy it's a thief of life and i don't want you to suffer any longer than what you need to and i know it's that mental battle and it's so hard to switch them thoughts. I've got two seconds left, but genuinely you can do it and you can get out of it. So <laughs> that brings me to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed watching and I don't really know what I've just said because it was all so fast and I hope that it kind of makes sense when I edit it back. So we'll see if it makes it onto YouTube or not. I hope that you found it useful and I hope that you can take away some things from the video. The reason I did it is because the other day it was seven months since I left inpatient so it's kind of like reflecting on the last seven months for me uh, just some things that I have really learned in that time and I'm so proud of myself for how far I've come but I also know that I could have done a lot more and not dragged it out anymore and that's what I want to express because seven months is over half a year and that's such a long time not that it's wasted time because we have to kind of look at it with a positive outlook at the same time because it's not wasted time because everything that you do in recovery and every single day and every single action that you take is literally growth and you have to look at it that way and growth can be a beautiful journey and it doesn't have to be something that you beat yourself up for if you have bad days because they are going to happen and that is completely normal that is completely fine you just have to keep pushing and remember how strong you are and that you can do it so yes I'm sending all my love. I hope you enjoyed watching and don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy and subscribe if you want to. I will see you in the next video and yeah, bye.